Hello my friends. Black and Rose here. Hello my friends, Black and Rose here, and today I'm back with the latest update to Washed Up, presented by Ender MC Productions. Now, this is this is what I what I think was described as a half update, because at the moment there is still some work that needs doing on this, and the guy who's producing it, Ender MC Productions. Uh, has put this update out, but he's getting his um, he's making changes to his PC to up the qu up uh, up things a bit. So this is a, this is a half update, but as you can see, there's an additional bar in the bottom there. I believe that is the new hunger meter. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, sound effect. Right, so, oi, thank you. Ah. I think he's fixed the animation there. I think. Oh, I don't know. Well, anyway. Let's gather some wood. Oh, a little bit of a... A little bit glitchy there. Oh, bear. Now I have heard as well that he's introduced uh, another animal into this, boars. Oh. Graphics have cleared up a little bit. I think the uh, the sun glare has gone, which is frankly a mercy. Okay, so. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I don't know if crafting's been introduced in this yet. I don't think it has yet. Just trying all the buttons. Nope, okay. Moving on. Uh, what I do want to say as well is I ha I was going to do like some more clips earlier um, over the weekend but I had a I had a string of personal issues that made me quite sad, quite depressed, so I didn't really have the heart to make make any clips. Uh, I, don't, I don't think the quality would have, I don't think the quality of the clips would have been particularly good, so I opted not to do them, but thanks to the support of some really wonderful friends that I've got, I'm not going to name names, but you know who you are, these, I think there's something a little bit wrong here. But um, thanks to some wonderful friends that I've got, you know who you are, I feel a lot better, and I feel a lot happier now, so thank you very much my friends, and everybody who's backed me and supported me. I'm now back up and raring to go. I'm not seeing any of these new animals yet, the, the boar. And it looks like some of the... Like direction, uh, the directional work is a little bit quirky. It, it's still in early development, so got going to give credit where credit is due. Let's go after this bear. Come here, bear. Ah, oh, I've been, I've been mutilated by a bear. Uh, no, it's uh, it's I. Keep forgetting that the inventory button is I. Now that that glare effect is a bit of a nuisance. Think it might just be a graphical bug though. <sighs> okay, so. Beyond what I've seen in the previous clips, I'm not seeing much more at the moment. I haven't found this like this boar that is supposed to have been introduced. 
And that glare effect is absolutely painful. It is really bright. I mean, it, it cleared up on its own. But it is really, really bright. And I hope that I hope that gets fixed in a later um a later update. Because that is really, really bright. It washes out everything. Okay, let's move forwards. So I wanna get I wanna give this a proper try. Looks like there's some uh Ah there we go. That's more like it. Can see a bit more colour now. No way, it's still um Still a bit, uh, ah, there we go. Don't know what it is about that at the start. I don't know if it's like an introduction of like a day-night cycle or something. Oh, moving forwards. Edge of forwards. Now, I know that other meter down there is the hunger meter. Because I was, I was told that in the patch notes this was added. As well as... Uh, food, I believe, was added in the form of meat. I think uh, End of MC Productions called this the Tasty Patch. I must admit, I'm not seeing uh, very much besides that bear. So if there is a if there is a boar in it, I don't know where it is. Oh, uh, that uh, that knife animation's still got a bit of a bug in it. To be perfectly honest, this is part showing showing the game in its progression, but also part play testing, so that the the guy can see the, uh, how it plays with uh, with with a number T playing it, which is me. This uh, this number T is playing the game and is doing his best to break it. Boom. Let's gather some stone. I don't know why. Yeah, that knife that knife animation is um a little bit problematic. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I bounced. Maybe I'll, I think I'll call this one Bear Broke Me. Since that seems to be a running gag I've got in this at the moment where I broke that um broke that bear animation twice. <coughs> okay, I'm not seeing much else in this at the moment, except the inclusion of the hunger meter. Uh, the slight graphical bug that occurs at the start with the glare. I'm going to see if I can get back and see if I can kill one of those bears. I have killed one before. I want to see if I can kill one and see if it drops anything useful, because this is supposed to be part of the... Part of the update. Yes. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the inclusion of some sort of sprint as well would be in order, because it does seem to be a little bit slow in getting around. But again, that that's just nitpicking at this point. It's, uh, I think the version is 0 0.3.5 at the moment. That's what it said in the... That's what it said for the upload file. So, it's still early. There's more trees are appearing as it goes. And of course we've got the, uh, the rocks as well. And I have spoken to um, the guy making this. Uh, about his progress, and he's working on the crafting at the moment, but as you can expect, the crafting is going to be quite tricky. I've never even seen this sort of, like, thing done in Unity before, so it could be interesting to see where he goes with it. No, I don't want, I don't want to cut the tree down. Oh, hello. Boinging up again. Come here, bear. Oh, 
Fire bear. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, it, it just ate it straight away. Okay. And I saw the hunger meter go up there. So that, well, go down, up, I, I don't know. Okay, so that that's the that's the addition of the hunger. I think some work is needed on the combat side of things because I think it's a little bit um, a little bit clunky because all I did was held down the knife key and just sort of kited back a little bit. Ah, ah, these must be the balls. Ah, oh, I didn't look over the hill. Oh well, let's go um, let's go see what these things do. I think as far as the meat goes, I think eating it as soon as you pick it up probably needs changing. I think you need to be able to stock it. Stock it and then cook it. Um. Whoa, hello. What the? Broke the ball. Yeah, I, I can see this. I can see this growing. I really can. Right. And I like the fact that they actually seem to have put animations on the damage. Like you damage these things, and they show. They sometimes show an animation. There we go. Ah, I've got it now. Okay, so that seems to be the that seems to be the showcase of the updates. The island is actually looking a bit more interesting. I think I think some work is needed. I don't know how well they can like generate things in the sense of like if I killed all the animals on this island. Would I then run out of food? Because that would be a, a bit of a problem when it comes to survival. Because you need to be able to survive as long as you can. Um, my thoughts on this at the moment, it's taking shape. It really is taking shape. The combat's a little bit clunky at the moment, but it's still very early development. The boars are actually an interesting addition. They're a good addition. I think they're... Their AI and animation needs a, a little bit of touching up because they just sort of looked at me, sort of started doing that, that funny thing they were doing and then just sort of did nothing. Uh, the food, I think ha eating it directly as soon as you get it is probably a bit of a problem. Okay, I just want to see if I can kill this bear. Come here, bear! Problem is, there's no indication as to when you've taken damage, other than the, the health bar going down. Right, come here. Come here, bear. Come on. Give me your meat. I want to. I want to eat your meat. Ooh. 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 That's interesting. I think I've just discovered the day-night cycle. There we go. Gotcha, bear. Hey, hey, get off. Get off, bear. No, you're dead. Stop. Stop messing with me. Ha! So this is what he's been working on. A, a day-night cycle. I think he mentioned that in one of his patch notes. Very nice. So, that explains a bit at the start. I think perhaps that needs a little bit of work. The, the morning slash dawn 
aspects of it. Perhaps needs a little bit of work. But this is good. It's actually showing an evening-like effect, and I like that. This guy's been making some interesting strides in this, some interesting progress. Okay, so... I'll, when I see crafting in this, I'll be thoroughly interested in it, and I'll gladly do another clip on this once crafting is brought in. I don't think there's much more in this at the moment, but I, I would like to see more in the sense of animals. The food aspect, I think eating it straight away is a problem. I think you should be able to stock it. Like, pick it up, put it in the inventory, and then eat it at convenient points. Um, but that's just nitpicking at that point. Boars, good addition. Perhaps a little work needed on the AI for the boars, but good addition. Uh, the combat is a little bit clunky, a little bit glitchy. Oh, we've hit night cycle. Oh, look, there's the moon. Uh, there's a few minor, a few minor glitches, a few minor bugs here and there. It's shaping up. I think if more depth is added to each of the features that are being put in, and the crafting aspect is done well, I think this could make a, a good indie survival game. But anyway, I don't think there's any more to this, so I'm going to finish this here on this night that I appear to have survived this time. Oh, that's a point. Um, one other thing that might be of interest is a means to recover health, or for health to recover naturally um, if you have if your hunger isn't too low. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Washed Up, uh, made by Ender MC Productions, still in early development. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Black and Rose, and I will see you in the next clip. Take care, my friends.